All right, hello and welcome back to the Crossword Vlog, aka Clog. Um, you might notice that I sound a little better. Uh, maybe, maybe I don't. Um, but <laughs> sorry to inform you that you should not get used to it. I'm borrowing this microphone and I'll have to return it. Um, but in Clog-related news, we are on a ridiculously high streak of eight, and I think we're going to get to nine today, um, as we almost always solve Tuesdays. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And sorry if you hear any notifications. Actually, I'm just going to mute those on my other monitor real quick. All right, so vocal range below a soprano. I'm not super familiar with all the vocal ranges and where they line up in like a, you know, <laughs> on a scale. But I know alto, there's like alto, tenor, uh, bass, bass. Um, but I think soprano is really high, so alto should be there, not not bass or bass, whatever. Um, Short-term offering from an auto shop, a loaner vehicle. You know, when you wreck your car and they have to repair it, they give you a car to um, tide you over. Um, what's all around you? you? Um, so I think, I mean, you'd think it'd be like, goat or sheep or something um because an ewe is a is a sheep female sheep um middle parts of bodies could this be tummies <laughs> that's kind of a funny uh i think it might be right though uh equivalents of ums would be ers like when you're speaking you might say um or er the sky and the sun. I believe I've seen this in a crossword before. Uh, I believe it's the WNBA has teams of those names. Maybe. Maybe not. Because I was thinking silent approval could be nod. Uh, and a symbol of busyness could be bee, like you're as busy as a bee. Wait, what did I type before I might have typed WBNA <laughs> so it is WNBA I just mistyped it um, broke ground in a way this could be hoed like when you're hoeing the ground you literally break it um, a tiny amount would be one like I don't care one whit floating aimlessly could be a drift okay Apple products that that's not suitable for kids. Um, I'm not sure. And I'm not sure what's going on with these things. They do kind of look like hats. So I'm wondering if that has something to do with the theme. Um, okay. I think tummies is wrong now that I look at it. Because the coin slot directive could be insert. Like you need to insert a coin. All right, let's go check out a different corner of the grid. Um, audible response of contempt. Don't know what that would be. Um, spread thickly as sunscreen. I, I think it's probably going to be something on, like slather on. <laughs> Uh, neither or nor, those words always go together. What those in agreement speak with? Nope. Traces left behind, don't know. A solitary sort though, that could be a loner. Funny, it's a um, homophone of loner. Playground retort, are so, something like that. Traces left behind. Okay, wasp. So I, I was looking down here because um, this looked plural. So I was like, maybe this is an S. And indeed it is, as wasp's home would be nest. Um, winter hours in Denver, uh, that should be mountain daylight time they rise during inflation or it might be standard time 
I always forget which way is which in a daylight savings. Okay. Cousin It from the Adams family. It's probably like Slav on or something. Okay. I'm just gonna go through every every clue. Newspapers, books, or magazines? Don't know. It might be bad to click exit accidentally. And that X looks promising. Um, eh, maybe not. Credit figures. I wonder if it could be like APYs. Jeweler's loop. That's that little like essentially magnifying glass that they'll use. I believe Brits call biscuits cookies. They're weird like that. Um, or we're weird like that. No offense to my British viewers. Um, illegal hunters, that would be poachers. Um, Rock, paper, scissors by another name. I believe some people call it Rochambeau. Uh, APRs, probably. Um, slumber party attire. You might wear PJs. Prego, <laughs> aka pregnant, aka expecting a baby. Uh, keys or loose change might jangle. And equilibrium might be st stasis. There we go. Okay. Gold standard. Hmm. Eureka. You might say that when you've like had a discovery, so that could be aha. And then baseball family name. This is a crossword ease thing. I've only recently picked it up, but I think Alu is a name of a lot of... Uh, like baseball players that are related to each other. Um, Maine to Florida route. So I, I don't know this off the top of my head, but just seeing US and then blank blank, it's gotta be a number if it's a like a route. So I'm thinking it's US one, because what other number could be there? Um, an orbit, it's the path a planet takes. A lemma in math. Um, I mean, it's just a, it's like a proof, but like a smaller bit of a proof that helps you on your way to the full proof. State repeatedly, maybe iterate, like when you reiterate. Um, more eye roll inducing could be cheesier. NBA official could be a ref, like referee. Helena is the capital of Montana. Breakfast order visually suggested three times in this puzzle's grid. Um, well, it probably has eggs at the end. Could it just be fried eggs? I don't know exactly. I, I guess the OO here represent eggs. Um, so I'm guessing this would be an O as well as with these two. Um, and then I wonder if this could be like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the bottom of, of these like plates are, I guess. We'll figure it out though. Uh, leaf through could be like riffle through. Beam of sunshine, a ray of sunshine. I've had it. Lava can harden. Leader could be the head. Um, Santa's bag full. Oh, jangly, sounding like. Because uh, he had a bag full of toys. Ugly uh, oranges are a thing. And then language related to Inupiaq and you pick. I believe that's a loot. Um, like I've heard of the Aleutian Islands, I think. Um, so it seems probable. And then a carrot. 
is a standard unit related to gold. Okay, sought consent um, asked. And then Mona Lisa, of course. Fishing, fishing site, you could fish off a pier. Um, lover of the grape could be a wino or an, huh, could exit be wrong? Exit could definitely be wrong. Um, I wonder if it's wino or like eno. Um, I'm going to take that out, but I guess either way it's an N here. Bad button to click accidentally, the send button, like on an email. Um, you can indulge yourself. Um, press statement, a press release, okay. Something targets, ooh, targets. Um, ideal marks for scammers. Wow, struggling over there. But I, I, I think it'll become more clear with the theme. Um, all right. Thor's father would be Odin. If you're in agreement with someone, you can speak with one voice. Um, that's a phrase. Blustery storm could be a tempest. Oh, okay. Oh, why is N here? I don't. <laughs> I was like, something weird is going on. But yeah, there's no reason for N to be there. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing a word there, but. Um, uh, newspaper books or magazine. Yeah, why did I have stuff here? Oh, I had on here for some reason. I was like so confident in that. Yeah, this is just slather, spread thickly. Um, okay, that's funny. Um, print medium. Okay. Oh, so it's going to be eggs over, or for this one, eggs over medium. This one is eggs over hard, and this one is eggs over easy. Okay. Sky Isle, I can believe it. Um, hard lighter. Apple product. That's not suitable for kids. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. Olden days, days of yore. And then torsos. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of tummies before torsos. Um, game where rolling two fours is a square pair. Well, I know craps is a dice rolling game. I don't know anything about two fours, but I know two ones is snake eyes. So they probably have names for other things. Uh, sometime, a while. Okay. Leota. Oh, it's Leona. Leona Lewis. Ooh, that would have been uh, annoying. Man, I'm, I'm making tons of typos today. <laughs> I'm like trying to lose the streak off of, uh, of this sort of thing. Okay, a certain spousal state could be wifehood. Um, prices rise during inflation. Too soon. Crossword. Too soon. Uh, you say wine in French, uh, like va, spelled as such. Um... Residues can be left behind. Audible response of contempt could be a snort. And then Tron. Interesting. Didn't know Tron was inspired by Pong and not the game Tron. But there we have it. As an added bonus of me uh, using this mic instead of my normal headphones, you can now hear the uh, sounds of victory. Let's go ahead and admire the puzzle. That was definitely a slower than average solve uh, for me, but it was an enjoyable one. And there, there wasn't anything that I was particularly stuck on. I think it just took me a little bit of time to uh, crack the theme, if you will. And I thought it was totally, totally chill. I, I thought it was, um, oh, hard cider. That's funny. 
Um, I thought it was a totally like suitable Tuesday theme. Um, pretty easy to understand what's going on. Easy targets, print medium, hard cider, all are reasonable fill, and fried eggs is good revealer. Uh, nothing too bad in the way of fill. Um, ugly, not a huge fan of that, but uh, and a loon, not a huge fan of that. So it wasn't like stunning by any means, but I liked the puzzle. I will give it a seven out of ten. Anyway. We are now on a streak of nine, um, which is incredible. I'm really just like pulling away with it here, as was expected once I solved the Sunday. Um, but yeah, we're really going to start uh, running into the danger zone probably with the Wednesday or the Thursday, and especially once we get back into Friday, Saturday territory. But until then, see you next time. Thanks for watching.